Yo, what's going on, sexy Samalander squad? I am here with Venom Wielder. He is a uh, a fan, and he's ready to game against me on the PTS for the new Shiva. god. It, I don't know why he says Shiva. It's not Shiva. It's Shiva. The, the, the god is pronounced Shiva. Let me buy this. What do you say here? Don't say anything. Okay, doesn't matter. Okay. So, there's a lot to do with this new god. A ton to do. So, his passive is kind of a double-edged sword. What I'm going to do in the game is I'm going to... I'm going to pause in the game. <coughs> um, While I go over the abilities. So. Hold on, let me message him. Going over abilities. One sec. So his passive is basically this, where he is in either one or another state. Dealing damage puts you towards the other state. It's like a rotating wheel. There is a, um, I believe it's called bliss and destruction are the two states. When you are in the bliss state, you and all enemies around you, or I'm sorry, you and all allies around you get HP5 and MP5 as a buff. And uh, it goes up to 14 MP5 or an NHP5 just by being around them, which is pretty good. Alternatively, when you are in the destruction state, all HP5 and MP5 debuff around you is taken down for your enemies by 12. They've never had an MP5 or HP5 reduction in the game before, other than just flat out uh, uh, anti heal. So it's pretty interesting passive. Um, but that's not all it does because it also utilizes all of his abilities. So every ability he has does two different things. As you can see here is one is a big hit around. It's a giant circle around and it leaves a fire. And it, when you're in your bliss state, that fire, uh, enemies, or I'm sorry, allies that walk through it, gain a movement speed buff. If you are in the destruction state, enemies that walk through it, get a protection reduction buff, as well as it does damage to them. So, um, it's pretty crazy and it does pull them into you too. So it's a circle attack that pulls them into you and then places a wall of fire around you and does one of those two things. I'm pretty sure the damage is there, whether you're in bliss or destruction state. Um, the two is a new targeter in the game. It's actually a sectioned cone in front of you. So you know how with Sun Wukong's three, the very first form is the ox, the middle form is the tiger, and the farthest form is the bird. Well, there's three forms in this cone, um, but the only thing it does is knock up. So it's a, it's, a sectioned, it's a sectioned cone, and you have to hit the enemy with the section of the cone to knock them up. However, the entire cone, whether you hit them with the little section or not, will do damage, and it will apply the buff and the debuff. The bliss buff is attack speeds for any, it's attack speed for any ally you hit with it obviously irrelevant for duel. Uh, but the destruction aspect of the two is that enemies you hit will have reduced attack speed by 25%. It's pretty immaculate. It's pretty insane. Um, and then the three, I'm trying to get through this because I mean, there's so much to talk about and uh, you know, this guy is waiting, but um, the three is a, a dash, but it's not only one dash, it's a double dash. So the first dash, you're going to go into it. <clears throat> you're going to go into it. When you're in your bliss state, what you're going to do is you're going to be a blue fire. You're going to go into this thing and you're going to be in this big tomb of blue fire that is going to pulsate around you and give your allies and yourself a block stack. Um, in your destruction stage, it's much simpler. Finally, one simple thing about the god. You dash in. It's a red flame wheel above you. And... Um, when you're in your flame wheel, it's just a big aura of damage. It's ticking damage. Pretty simple. That being said, while you are in your three, you have 40% damage mitigation and are completely CC immune. And it lasts for six fucking seconds. So it's pretty, it's pretty dumb. It's ridiculous. It's super overpowered. You never need to buy beads on this character. Pretty much just go sprint and blink and go kill shit. Um, and then the alt is, uh, I don't know how to say it. Shiva Tandava. Tandava. Shiva Tandava. Uh, this, is a, this is a Shiva statue we have in the house. 
Well, I'm gonna, yeah, we have, we have this in the house, <laughs> but yeah, we have a little altar here, but, um, the alt is pretty fucking ridiculous. So the alt is a six second long pulsating. I'm sorry. The three is only three seconds. The, the alt is six seconds. It's a pulsating damage aura around you, but not necessarily only damage. So he has three abilities when he alts. And each one does a different thing. But every point, 1.5 seconds, it's going to pulsate no matter what. So the one, it pulses. It's a heal and uh, a mana restore for your allies. The two, it does healing and damage, but only 50%. Um, so it does 50% damage, 50% healing. But it amplifies your next effect, whether it be a your one or your three. Your three is damage and shield reduction. So what you want to do, at least what I think you want to do, with uh, uh, Shiva Tandava, is that it? Tandava, sorry, I'm a dumbass. But um, what you want to do with it, and what I think, in duel, is if you really need to get away, obviously you can use the one to heal yourself. But most of the time, you're going to be using your two, which is going to do a little bit of damage, but it's going to amplify your next one. And then you're going to use your three, which is going to deal a big amount of damage, and then you're going to use your two again, and then your three, because it's six second long, and it's 1.5 second pulses, so you get four pulses out. You're CC immune for the entire thing. Uh, you do not gain any movement speed or anything like that. Let's finally get into the game. Holy shit, this god is nuts. My goodness. Oh, also, forgot to mention, he's a warrior. He's not an assassin or anything. He is a warrior. He is um, very strong, in my opinion, from what I've seen, and I haven't seen too much of him. I actually haven't seen any real gameplay of him but based on his scaling and his numbers he seems like he will be doing a ton of damage and he also seems like you want to use your abilities really often so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna test my theory and i'm gonna go blue stone jotuns with him he's gonna be an ability based warrior he's a very awesome looking character he doesn't have a special but you can see right here my passive um i think right now i'm in the bliss state yeah, I am in the bliss state, so I have increased HP5 and MP5. You can see I have 30 HP5 and, and 21 MP5. And um, I'm actually going to put these on quick cast so you guys can see what it looks like here. So the one is this little circle. You're going to use it, and it can, it's going to pull them in. Your two is a cone. So I'm just going to, obviously, I'm just going to use it. And the, uh, the two is going to increase my attack speed as well. When I use the two in the bliss state... It does affect you. And then the three, which is, in my opinion, the coolest, you're going to dash towards a certain area. You're going to have that super insane mitigation. And, um... And, yeah, you're just going to be like a, a giant flame. A pillar of dawn is what it's called. It's really cool. Really, really cool. My damage is going to be insane here. Get the knock up and dash through. And, by the way, the dash does do damage. Um, he has Achilles length auto attack. So he has a very, very long auto attack range, which is something you do need to keep in mind because, um, it's, I mean, it's important, the auto attack range you have. And yeah, you're going to see me again. I'll have that auto attack buff increase and I'll back right now. And his damage, man, his damage is like really, 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 really too high. It's very high damage. <laughs> but it's so good, and he's so fun. I mean, uh, like, his abilities just flow so smooth. And um, the more damage I do, by the way, the more you'll see my passive move. I don't know if it moves only when you do damage to gods. Let me see. By dealing damage to enemy gods. Yeah, so it's when you do damage to enemy gods. It's going to move. I'm going to hit the knock up here. I'm going to pull him. I'm going to dash through and dash through. And then... Oh, I use my alt here. So you can see here what I'm doing. You saw right there what I was doing. The first pulse was green, which means it was my one. The second pulse was, uh, I think, blue, which was my... It did a little bit of damage. It did a little bit of healing. But overall, it amplified the range of my alt, and it amplified my the damage on my next ability. The red was my damage, which is my three. So um, it's just like... His kit flows really well. It's very nice. And you can see now... Hold on. Let me hit him one more time. 
I am in my destruction phase. So my destruction phase is uh, my three, which is really cool. I really wanted to show this one off because it, it just looks so beautiful. Babe, come here. I want to show you. I want to show you the three. So the three in the destruction stage looks like this. You just this giant fire pillar that does tick damage for the entire time. It's so cool. You want to see his ult? I got to wait a little bit. I, I already used it once. I'll, yeah, I'll call you before I ult. It's really cool. Um, I'm going to... Well, I was actually going to back, but I think we're chilling. But yeah, so you can see this. It's a cone targeter, but you can target sections of the cone. Now, it, it seems a little iffy or it seems a little weird, but honestly, you don't need to worry too much about it because at the end of the day... It feels very smooth. Like the targeting in the cone feels really smooth and like you're not gonna accidentally fuck it up, probably. I mean, you might, who knows. But you saw right there, I, I pulled the red buff back into my fire for my one just to do some extra tick damage. There's a lot you can do with this god and I think it's really awesome. I think with their last few releases, I was starting to lose faith in high res. And their their ability to design, you know, good feeling characters. Because a Mulan feels like fucking garbage. Like you have to level the abilities and it, it doesn't feel good at all. Um and ouch. Cthulhu, I guess I mean Cthulhu feels good in the sense where holy fuck my damage. I used my one and hit him for six hundred and twenty two damage. I have one item, by the way. One item, and I used my ult, did 622 damage. Babe, come here. Let me show you the ult. Okay. So, the ult has three stages. I'm going to use the heal, and then I'm going to use the 50-50, and then I'm going to use the damage, and then I'm going to use the 50-50 again, okay? Did they do good on the dance? Nice. Hi, Rez. As it confirmed, confirmed they did good on the dance. Why the fuck does my girl know all this? Well, you know, she's Indian, so it makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's. No, you're not being annoying. And I'm excited to show off because, like, I'm actually so fucking proud of, of Hi, Rez and. The fact that they made a character like this is just so sick. By the way, you get your block stack when you're in your bliss state and you dash with your three. You get your blocks, your block stack with your dash after you've already uh, come out of the fire pillar. You don't get your block stack when you're in the fire pillar. You get it when you come out. However, if you are in conquest or joust or something, all of your teammates get this that block stack. Um. They get that block stack while you're in the fire. So you don't need to leave for them to get the block stack. Just for yourself. Um, but you can see, I mean, the amount of damage that, that he's doing, the amount of output you, you just produce is insane. And here's the combo, by the way. Uh, I haven't really shown off the combo because I'm just doing so much damage. You basically, you dash in to get close. If you need to. If you don't need to dash in, then you don't really have to. Um... He's playing a little bit scared. I mean, as he should be. I do so much to him. But I'll show you the combo next time I get close. Basically, you're going to use your one to bring them into you. And then you're going to use your two at your feet like this. That's going to... You're going to pull them in and knock them up immediately. And then you're going to ult. And that that's your combo. You can... Oh, he's here. Hold on. He wants to fight me. He ulted. Oh, it's so sick. It's so sick. I want to show you the full combo. That's why I didn't fight him there. But yeah, um, basically, you're, you're just going to pull him in and then knock him up, which is two really amazing CCs. And then just go straight into your ult, and it's going to do so much damage. I'll show you. I'll show you here when I uh, when I can in a second. Oh my. Yeah. So you saw there. 
Um, that that burst of my ult did. Well, my ult did a thousand damage. Okay, I have I have two items. My ult did a thousand damage. It's seven minutes into the game. It's pretty ridiculous. Pretty insane. I'm in my destruction stance, and you can clear buffs like this. It doesn't do too much damage. It's more just supposed to be like annoying to the enemy. All right, so you saw the full combo there. I mean, my one did 500 damage. My two did 500 damage. It's just crazy amount of numbers you're pumping with this build. Not even this build, just this god. And he has tier two defense too. It's not like he has no defense. He, I mean, my, my dude's sitting on tier two defense. Um, Let me see, what do I want to build here? I kind of just want to amplify damage just to like accentuate how strong he is. So I'm going to go probably... Heart Seeker. Thank you. I'm gonna go probably Heart Seeker here. And um Yeah, and I got blink too, so it's so cool. The combo, the like the, his abilities are just so sick too. They're just so sick. And I I don't know if like okay, let me put it this way. When this god, when I saw the abilities for the first time when, during the patch notes, when I actually witnessed it for the first time, I was like, I told Shiv, I looked at her and I said, I'm diamonding him. He's diamond. No, hey. Dude, what the fuck? You do the amplify with your two. You do the amplify on your alt, which is going to do a little bit of damage, and then you detonate that amplify with your three, and I, you do that twice. <coughs> You're pumping out damage like that. <clears throat> it's so insane. It's so cool. And the, like the way, <coughs> excuse me, the way he moves. By the way, this fire he's holding is the fire of Agni. Apparently. I mean, that's what they said. It's pretty cracked. <clears throat> what does my, what does my uh, two do when they're in fire state? It lowers their attack speed, right? Yeah, it does. But yeah, when this god, when I first saw the abilities, I turned to Shiv and I said, yeah, I'm getting him diamond. <laughs> Just like immediately. He, I didn't. He doesn't need good damage. He doesn't need good survivability. He just needs... I mean, the design... And the way his abilities flow so well. Like, like he's a combo god. They haven't released a combo god in a long time, I feel like. And it's just so sick. I'm so happy with it. I mean, it's not like they're like, Hey, Sam, you happy with this god release? Yes, okay, we'll make him. Like, obviously, they don't give a shit, but... It's still insane to me. It's so insane to me. And like the alt is so cool. Mainly, I think mainly the, yeah, I was just going to say that. I was just going to say the fact that my alt is a 6 second. It's 6 seconds of CC immunity and omni movement, meaning you can strafe left and right and not be slowed. Um and also you can go backwards and not be slowed, I think. It's so cool. You want to see the ability? So the three and in destruction you saw. The two is this like knock up thing. And the one is this circle of fire. I wonder if I lose aggro by doing this. Dude. It's so cool. It's so cool. I'm so, I'm so happy with this god. Like, I almost never play PTS, just so all of you know. I almost never play PTS. I mainly just do it to get my first look videos out and to see how the new items are or how the new god is. But, I might just play PTS and practice myself some Shiva, because I am, the second this patch goes out, 
I am grinding. I'm grinding to get him diamond. Because I'm fucking excited, dude. The way his kit flows. I I will say they need to nerf his damage. How much damage output he does is ridiculous. Like he shouldn't be able to let me just show let me just show you what he shouldn't be able to do real quick. How about that? How about that? Boop. And pop. And then we run away while healing. It also heals the minions. Full HP. And Titan's basically dead. Give a block stack to my minions. Why don't I? Who knows? And we kill. GG, man. Thanks for your time. Um. <clears throat> yeah, so, I mean. When it comes down to it. My last first look video was Atlas. Uh, I said he was the worst god they've ever made. <laughs> and that might seem a little bit harsh. Just random music. Okay, but um, no, I in my first look video for Atlas, I said he was he was the worst. So it's like a Shiva praise, like a Shiva is worship. Okay, so it's worship for Shiva. Um, yeah, like I said, but my Atlas video, I said he was the worst god to ever exist. Um, and by the way, I still stand by that. Shiva might be the best release. Like, I'm not, not, not in terms of like super OP. You know, I don't think anything will beat <coughs> Guan, Nemesis, Bologna, shit like that. <sighs> Sorry, my throat. However, in terms of gameplay feel, <clears throat> I think he's damn near perfect. <clears throat> I am going to end my video because my throat is going to shit. But <clears throat> log on PTS, blame yourself. Thanks for watching. Peace.